Welcome back to another fun and festive tutorial on Photoshop. So in our last one, we made some letters here. So this one is going to talk about what happens when you make something that is awful. OK, so this shape here could generously, very generously, be called a T. OK, but it's terrible. And it's terrible for a bunch of reasons. First of all, it's terrible because it is wonky as all get out. It has little dings and dents and things like that. And, and what these are from is from having too many anchors. It also doesn't follow our style. There's, this is not blades and breaks. So how do I get back into it? And you have, I have this here, but for whatever reason, you're like, hey, how do I make this thing actually activate? Um, I can turn it into a selection. And that's not what I want to do, right? Well, actually, you kind of do. So when I click on this, um, if you turn it down here at the bottom, turn it into a selection, you can then turn the selection and turn all the anchors back on with the button right next to it. Make work path from selection. Bam, there we go. And you can see I've got a ton of anchors in this thing. And I do not want a ton of anchors in this thing. So what I'm going to do is apparently shortcut into the magnifier glass, which I do not want. There we are. So first of all, one way I could correct it is I could go back and change the path, and I could take these anchors out. If I just hover over them, they turn into a minus. You don't need a million anchors. You honestly only need these anchors if you are changing the direction of a curve. So first off, I can take a bunch of these things out, like so. Now this is looking kind of weird, but that's all right. I can just hold my command control button, and I can get the curve back to whatever it is that I want. And see, now I've got the same curve that I just had, but because it doesn't have all these anchors in it, it doesn't look like it's been beaten with a bat, because that's basically what this side looks like. Okay, so this is an option. Let's say that you didn't have that saved. This was a selection you had gone through, and you had filled it with paint. So you had your paint bucket here, and actually let me put this on a new layer here real quick. Bam, new layer, fill that with paint. Deselect, okay, Command D. So let's say that you've already filled it with paint. You're like, oh, filled it with paint, paths are gone, can't do anything. Well, yeah, you can, okay, because now what you can do is you can use the skills you did in the game, the Bezier game, and you can go through and you can make your paths. Hold your Alt button down. This looks familiar, right? This is exactly why we did the game, to allow you to do things like this. So it honestly doesn't take a huge amount of time to go through and redraw this. And remember, now you aren't really limited by anchors. Do you want a million of them? No, you do not. But you can go through and very quickly recreate this and have a much, much better design. Alt button. There we go. And seriously, done. How long did that take? OK, so now I can go through here, for instance, make that one invisible. And it's still not blades and breaks I should have made like that. But my point is you can retrace something and clean it up a lot in a very, very short amount of time. So there's an option for you as well.